We put out a kind of open call to the public and said that we would explore grief and loss through making memory books and through exploring photography, paper making, and to use creativity to kind of release some of the kind of painful feelings and express themselves. Every week, myself and Martha would turn up with boxes and boxes of materials and possibilities, and then we would wait. Sometimes it felt like nobody was going to come in the door, but every week, somebody came in the door. I was really interested in doing something that I was being proactive in and not just reacting to, to things in the, in the world that come our way, but actually, you know, really directing my time to things that I thought really mattered. For me, it's important that there's, there's personal experience. It's not just about an artist's practice, it's also the fact that it's my life as well that comes into this. That was one of the reasons that I wanted to take part in this, because I wanted to learn how to support other people through grief. I told my story, Rebecca told her story, and through us exploring our own stories, it, then a conversation opened up, and while we were doing that, I have a wee box of things that are all about my mum, so I was able to explain processes, but at the same time talk about ideas and, and my own experience and the importance of like tangible things in that process. With material things like actually making and being engrossed in a process of making um, kind of allows you to be in this kind of area of flow before you realise, you know, like an hour has passed and you've just been quietly, mindfully, with yourself in the presence of other people um, and I think that's the way that it can help. And I think it's always nice working with other people doing new things. It's sort of nice and fresh to you know doing something creative you know for no particular purpose but just coming and fiddling about with things and making something simple doing things in a, a childlike way almost and then there's that other layer of you know thinking thinking about it then afterwards delving into your feelings and all that uh, that was very nice as well. It's so good for your mind, I think. We tried to keep the project loose enough that there was space for the participants to come along and say, oh, I discovered this thing. Maybe we could try this. We were learning as much as the people that were coming along were learning. I think it was important not to keep on about what the subject was, but to let that kind of rise up just by sitting around a table and, and being involved in an activity and using your hands and then drinking tea then the words do come out. I mean, we found it's been very emotionally charged in a lot of these sessions. We had a very intense session. It was very emotive. We had a lot to deal with. And through the various support that we've been getting through the Compassionate Culture Network peer support groups, we had the tools to actually deal with it. Yeah, it felt amazing to have the tools to actually uh, deal with the situation that was on hand. And afterwards, when we were writing in our project diary, that was the real realisation that what we're doing is so important and what we're doing is really needed. It might be swept under the carpet, but it's just such a huge part of life that it needs to be talked about. And it's healthy to be talked about.